Today, my children have decided to make their father walk 45 miles to food. Damn fucking right. Mm -hmm. You ever see a fat guy melt? You're about to see that happen. this portion of the video on my brand new or brand new to me 17 to 85 millimeter lens that I got on offer up you'll see that I use that app a lot to fund this channel and the gear that I use so check it out if you're just starting out on YouTube I suggest you use apps like that you'd be surprised at what you have laying around your house you can get rid of to buy or trade for the equipment you want to use in any case it's a heavy lens and I'm having a lot of fun with it. They retail for about 350, 390 new. I picked it up for 50 bucks and it came with two ND filters. You can't beat it. Anyway, who cares? I am going to pick up my kids because that's what good dads do on weekends and I love to see my kids more than anything. And we are going to the Aria Buffet. I don't think I've ever been there. My daughter has. She says it's excellent. I know it's expensive. I will let you know how it is. And I will see you when we get there. Today, my children have decided to make their father walk 45 miles to food. Damn fucking right. Mm -hmm. You ever see a fat guy melt? You're about to see that happen. Are you guys gonna run there or what? Are we walking or what's happening here? I'm slow? I'm fat. I'm slow. Oh, you're back there. Okay, so five people just cost $202. Keep that in mind before you come here. Okay, so this lens isn't the greatest in low light, so I had to kick the ISO all the way up. We're in the Aria now. There was five of us. It cost $201. I let the kids go up first. I'll be headed up in just a minute. I'm waiting here so that I don't have to leave my camera bag alone. My kids can watch it when I go up. And I'll let you know how the food is. And for $201, it better be stellar. Most buffets around Vegas are anywhere between $7 and $20. And I know this is the Aria and all, but it seems a little bit pricey, holiday weekend or not.
right, so I got prime rib, macaroni and cheese, shrimp and grits with chorizo. I got some squash, zucchini, and a mini chili dog. That looks really interesting. What'd you get? Everything. Uh, mac and cheese, mac potatoes, crab, uh, pork belly. Brittany, did you even taste yours? Yes. I just went up there and you guys are almost all done. You got ham, of course, right? What's the yellow stuff? No, that. Oh. Okay. I'll wait for you the to be prime rib is to get it. Have you tried the mac and cheese? The mac and cheese, the mac and cheese really is really good. good. Better than what? The Wicked Spoon. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, this is a lot better. When we went to the Wicked Spoon, that one. When we went to the Wicked Spoon, I, I couldn't compare it to anything else other than stations. But this is really, really good. That's not sweet though. It's okay. It's not worth the money. Let me put it that way. Caesar's Palace. When did you guys go? Oh, like on what like day? a year ago. No, uh, what day? It was a weekend. We always go on weekends. That's sushi night. That was a sushi. We went for lunch. Not dinner. Oh, I, I, I always went for dinner. I'm going. So that's always more expensive. Caesar's and Palace more stuff. has an amazing buffet. It's gigantic. But they charge $69 a week. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, so now I'm gonna try the, I have grits and shrimp and chorizo. It's amazing. <clears throat> Holy cow. Just a tad bit spicy. Woo! The chili powder. Oh my God, it's good though. This is just the first round. We'll see how the second one works out. The mac and cheese is pretty amazing. The grilled squash and zucchini is cooked perfectly. You gotta try this. It's amazing. All right, on this round I got beef short rib, pork carnitas. I don't know what kind of sausage that is, but it looks really good. A slice of pizza and some mashed potatoes and gravy. What is that? Or what was that? That was the Oh, is that what it was? What's that? Lasagna. Lasagna. Mmm. What are we laughing at? She's gonna bring us four creme brulees. Oh, is she? Yeah. It's funny to put the short rib on a little. A little pile of mashed potatoes, like garlic mashed potatoes, it's pretty good. That's the best thing I've ever So far, everything I've eaten has been absolutely amazing. Oh, yeah. Where's that? All right, now on to the sausage. It's called IPA sausage. I have no clue what that is. No. Looks pretty good. So good. Bowen down? No. Why not? We're good. What is it? Clam? Yeah. Oh my god. That is so good. Yes, it is. Look. Yeah, mm. I can't do it. Why not? It's not so good. Every it's little piece of that clam out of there. I promise it's fine. Oh my god, that was so good. I don't know if you'll like it. You might. You want to bite? It's not a poker. I'm not a huge sausage fan of that kind of sausage. I like Italian sausage. So, man, kind of not my favorite. Okay. It's a little pricey for a bunch of people, but I don't think that a normal price for this place on Friday night is 45 bucks. With the quality of food, I don't think it's too out of line. So, no, not compared to like the feast or anything like that. I mean, but those are just cheap ass. Mm -hmm. So. If you're just paying for yourself, it's actually worth it because the food is that good. One of these days we'll eat at Rayo's. Where? Rayo's is a restaurant that I did the plumbing in in Caesar's Palace. It's modeled after a restaurant in 
New York, that, that border Central Park, that all the movie stars get at, you can't, from what I've read, you can't like get a reservation there. It's like booked for like the next 20 years or whatever. So, so we, they built another one here. And when we were doing the smoking room, which is where they have cognac and cigars, they actually sent people to Rayo's in New York to take pictures of the dome ceiling that's in there so that they could match the color of it. And the color they were matching was the stain from the cigar smoke over 50 years or however long the restaurant's been there. So they could do it here. So it's actually a pretty neat restaurant and they got they got it set up just like the one in, they got it set up just like the one at Border Central Park with the windows and the outdoor seating and everything. But it's inside the casino. The, the cod and the eel sauce is amazing. You gonna make it? It's warm. I should be filming this. Wow, I wasn't filming any of that. Root beer float, lemon blueberry tart. Maybe I was, I just wasn't. That's all the desserts you got? So, $200 and they don't have Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I guess my kid gets to drink something different. It's a very nice place though. More to come. More to come.